Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So this is the third part of logic development series. So the task is very simple, movie booking application. Now, if you read the instruction, we have to create an array of movies where uh, properties will be movie name, description rate, and shows will be multiple like that. You have to create an array of string like this, right? Then you need to, obviously we have an array, so we need to create dynamic element like this. Then, so see, dynamic elements are like this. If I click on rocketry, so that movie is getting selected by we are adding some dynamic class and whatever the shows this particular movie has that are visible over here. And out of this movie shows, I can select again one or two like this. So once I select particular show, then I can specify the number of tickets I want and on click of book, my total bill will be over here. Correct. This is one scenario. Now, if I select three idiots. So again, the remaining bottom session got reset. Again, we have to select it and we need to provide the number of tickets. Got it? Same like that over here also. But Dangal is a movie which has only one show. So we have one more scenario. If a Dangal is a movie, so you can see only one show is there. So if it is one show, then we need to make that selection, um, make that shows by default selected. So these are some conditions which we have to apply. Now, what if, if we have to do the same task in Angular, what things we have to do? Fine. So this is a uh, HTML I have copy pasted from over here. Everyone knows like this is uh, UI you can put in uh, UI, you can take it from my white chitan repository and you can just start working. So just like that, I have got the UI also. Now we will start. Um, so let me just close this. So this is our component. Now let me just close all. So first we have to create an array of movie. So let's create that first. Movie list colon. It's going to be any of array. I'm not going to create interface and everything because that is not our focus. Array. So movie name. Let's say something. Then ticket price. Colon something. What else we should have? Then we have description. We can have again description and then we need a shows that will be array of string like this so let's just copy paste the data let me see i have a data over here let me just get it the array which we have to create so array will be like this it will well it will be an array of object with three properties and in the four properties we will have array of string let me just get the array which is already created that is under common.js or main. Yeah, I think in menu we have it. Let me just find it quickly. Shows. Yeah. So see, this is the array which you can see on the task. Same I'm going to use. Let's paste it over here. So now you can see this, this kind of object, this kind of array of object you need to create. This is first task. So with this task, you will be having to, you will be having experience like how do you uh, plot or how do you use this kind of array of object in case of when you are, you have to bind the data. So we have the movie list in, uh, stored into this variable. Now this movie list, we need to make it dynamic. So if we see the HTML over here, wait, 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 let me just format it. Yeah. So here you can see this call six is getting iterated. So this is the card div for it. So let me just remove the static one. Then we can iterate. This is the static one. I'm removing it. Now we have to iterate. So if your version is Angular greater than Angular 17, you can use that direct for loop also. But this project was with the older version. So I'm just going with the normal ng4. So on this div, we have to iterate. So star ng4 is equal to let movie of our variable name where we have stored the movie list so movie list it will go over here now let's just save and check so over here you can see 
movies are dynamic but all has the selected cast because we didn't remove that and everyone ev on all movie titles same data is available now we just need to make it dynamic so we will use interpolation to do that so over here instead of rocketry we need to show movie dot what thing we have movie name so this we have to bind it over here then we need to showcase the price also so let's do that movie dot what is it field name ticket rate so let's copy like this and here we need to show the description also now description you can see we can have so much of description but we just need to show limited data for that you can use the splice pipe also which will which will limit the character that you that also you can do so over here movie dot the second field is description which we have to display it over here and the static class was added where it was this was the static class so let's remove it and title also we need to make it dynamic right so let's remove it let's remove it we don't need it because i did the example in jquery so for that it was needed fine so let's just save and check if data is properly visible so here you can see data is properly visible yeah now you can see uh, if dangal movie has so much of text so our ui is pretty so just to handle that our ui should be in a proper design we use the uh, fixed character to be displayed so for that we need to in description we can use splice pipe why splice is not suggesting sorry slice pipe we have to use then how many character we have to display so max i also forgot what do we need to pass let's say 30 let's try if it is displaying 30 character yeah fine so instead of 30 let's say 120 character max we can display 120 will be win now 90 fine so now you can see we are displaying just the 90 but in the title we are in the title we have to display everything so here property binding and here we will show the all description because just we don't want our ui to be disturbed that's why we are limiting to 90 characters but in the title we can show it everything because that's like a tooltip so if we hover on that you can see everything we will be able to see got it now so our first thing is done we have created movie movies list and that we have plotted it over here next thing this below ui we need to show if i select any movie see like that in the example also this below section is not visible unless i select any particular that uh, below ui is not visible so for now first we have to write a mechanism to select the movie so let's this is a for loop right so let's write click event and again while naming a function also make sure you are giving the function name or variable name properly now on this click event we are going to select a movie so let's say on select movie and this will have a parameter what parameter just whatever the current movie we have so this movie will go over here let's create this function let me minimize this like this fine and this function when we are calling it is going to have a parameter so item colon any I'm writing any, but you can create interface or class. Fine. Just to keep the video minimum length, I'm doing this. Now, so on click of it, we are sending the current movie data. That we need to store into another variable. So that will be, let's say, selected movie. Because in this variable, we are going to store whatever the current selected movie is. Curly bracket. Fine. Now, over here, this dot selected movie is equal to item, whatever the data we get. Let's try to print this also somewhere. And after available shows, I will just print it. And it is going to have J, uh, objects and we'll use JSON pipe. So let's save and check. So by default, you can see it's an empty object. But if I click on three idiots, you can see three idiots object got stored over here. If I click on dangle, got it? So on click of card we are able to select the movie next thing we need to add the selected color also to the card so how can we do that is 
in this card header, we need to add a dynamic class. So square bracket ng class is equal to. So movie dot movie name is equal to is equal to selected movie dot movie name. So if whatever the current movie is we have in the for loop, if it is stored in this variable, we will add this class, let's say BG success or else it will be empty or so empty only let's check so now by default all movies are like that if i click on three idiot so see movie is getting added 